Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in Map Square H6 of the Exiled Lands, building a blacksmith's workshop and store. All of the decoration mods used are in the pinned comment below, but before we get started, there is something I want to talk to you about. You already know, I'm all for internet security. It's one of the most important things you can have nowadays. Logging into your accounts through Facebook, Google, or Twitter makes life easier, but if you lose access to those accounts, anything linked to it would quickly be compromised. And that could include access to your hard-earned money, your real-life personal information, payments and bank details, and more. You need something to protect all of your sensitive information, whilst also making logging in easier than ever, and NordPass is the perfect solution. It's a lightweight app that integrates into all of the mainstream browsers to offer seamless logins, safe password security, secure password generation, data breach scanning, and more. NordPass can be used on up to six devices at a time, including mobile, to store all of your sensitive information, including passwords, notes, and payment details. According to Nord's own research, in the UK, 132 passwords out of the 200 most popular could be cracked in less than a second, and as hackers only get smarter, there has never been a better time to level up your cybersecurity. To celebrate Cyber Month, NordPass are offering 70% off when you use my affiliate link at nordpass.com slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout. You get to use the best password security tool out there at an absolute steal of a price, and to spice up the deal just a bit, Nord has thrown in an extra month for free. Leave your password book behind with NordPass, and of course, you'll sell your boy out a bit if you use my link. So with that being said, let's crack on with the video. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I laid down a simple design that you can see on screen now. It's a fairly small, streamlined base plate that should lend itself well to the medieval theme I'm going for with this workshop. I chose to use Numidian fence foundations and ceilings, as I think they best fit the medieval aesthetic I'm aiming for. On the exterior areas, namely the rear workshop and the veranda outside, I chose Ketan stone ceilings to keep the theme consistent, whilst also making the logical choice of not having wooden flooring outside the walls. Once the base plate was down, I then began on the walls. I chose to use Numidian for the ground floor and insulated wood for the first. If you wanted to go with a punchier colour scheme, you could replace the insulated wood with Yamatai, though I chose not to for this design. I built the walls of the ground floor two tiles high and then placed the vaulted ceilings on the second tile to create the floor of the top floor. I also included a hatch frame and a ladder at the back of the storefront and I then began to work on the top floor. The top floor is going to be a really simple design, and it will serve as the small living quarters for the owner of the workshop. I built insulated wooden walls one tile high and then added roof gables, which will eventually bring the roof to a flat apex topped off with wall caps. I then moved over to the workyard, which is also going to be pretty simple. I raised a Numidian pillar in the far corner, and then used the single tile piece Numidian vaulted ceilings to create a small makeshift awning around the perimeter of the yard. I then used Numidian rooftop pieces to cap off the top of this makeshift awning and added a third tile of wooden walls to the top of the smelting tower. Next for the roof. Yet again, this is another really simple design. I used Numidian roof pieces to create an extremely simple roof atop the living quarters, and I also used rooftop end pieces to cap off the entrance corridor to those quarters. I then went around the back and added stable fences and small stable gate frames to the yard to create a design that contains it but doesn't make it feel too closed in and I then added Numidian awnings to the front facing veranda that surrounds the entrance of the build. I also added stable fences and stairs, and then I finally added sloped sides to the smelter tower for decoration to finish off the build. Finally, when the shed of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've included some advertisements and signposts outside the workshop.
Entering the build, we first reach the storefront, where all of the wares are on offer. Here, the blacksmith sells helmets, clothes, armours, bows, books, smithing materials and more. This is quite a cramped store by design, and it's meant to feel quite dense and busy. Behind the counter is the store owner, with access to the living area and rear workshop from behind. Heading upstairs, this is the living area for the store owner. In keeping with the theme, this is designed to be quite cramped but still fairly cosy, and includes a bed, a small collection of books, a writing desk to keep track of orders and earnings, and even a small bathroom. Yep, we are living in luxury here. Heading back downstairs and out to the workyard, this is where all the hard work is undertaken. Here, raw ores are smelted into ingots and fashioned into weapons and armours. The blacksmith also offers detailing services for armour and weapons, and tans small quantities of leather for use in those items. And there we have it, a blacksmith's workshop in the Exiled Lands, in Map Square H6. Thanks for watching, this is a fairly quaint design that I think works nicely for the theme, and could make for a great build within a medieval style village. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. On that note a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Velma, Torn, Mal224, CoffeeMan04 and Eagle Rose. As I mentioned earlier, my NordPass discount is in the description and pinned comment below. Level up your cybersecurity today at a massive 70% off discount, plus a month free when you use my link. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>